Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video on how to make an animated outro for your YouTube channel on your iPhone. So this is a very easy tutorial. These are the two apps that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. We have CapCut and iMovie. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be making a certain type of outro. So it's going to have a certain look that I want. But I've made some of these tutorials in the past that may have different outcomes and other apps that you might want to use. So I'll have a playlist link where you can see all the previous tutorials that I've done like this, which are still relevant. They just have other outcomes or other apps that I'm going to be using. But for this video, we're going to be using CapCut and iMovie. I also did upload a video on how to make an animated intro last week, which I will also link in the card up top if you're interested in checking that out. But okay, let's get started on how to make this outro. So what you're going to need for your outro is a background here. Um, this is just one that I got off of Canva, but you can get one whichever one you want. To make sure your background is the right size, all you need to do is go to your Photos app, click on Edit, and go to the Cropping tool. And if you click up here and you go to 16 by 9, if it fits in that block, it's 16 by 9 and then it will work for your outro. If not, then you just might want to crop it to the right size so that it will work for your YouTube video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into CapCut here and we're going to select new project and then we're going to import our background. So this is my background. I'm going to click on add and here we have our timeline with our background in it. So what I'm going to do now is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this background all the way to 10 seconds. I just prefer my outros to be 10 seconds. You can make it shorter or longer depending on what kind of look you want for your channel, but I'm just going to have it be 10 seconds. Now what we're going to do is the first we're going to do is we're going to add some text to our background here. So I'm just going to click on the text option down here and we're going to click on add text and I'm going to just going to say thanks for watching. You can choose whatever text you want. You can even put your channel's name again, whatever you want. This is just the text that I'm going to be using and I'm going to put it here at the top and now I'm just going to edit the style a bit so it looks better. So how you do that is you tap on your text here, go to style and um, here you can see everything. You can um, adjust like the font, the color, they have some presets here for you. You can adjust the color here again, you can add a stroke around it so that looks like that. You can have a background if you don't want a stroke or you can have both. That's what a background looks like. You can add shadows to it if you want. You can even adjust the character spacing and everything. So there are a lot of things you can play around with, but I'm just gonna go for this preset here. So that's white with a black border. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna change my font to Sunrise International. Now this is a really cool thing that I love about CapCut is that you can import your own fonts. So the font, this font is the one that I added in by just clicking on this plus button and then just selecting the font that I wanna import. I see my spacing is just a bit out, so I'm just going to reset that. Okay, so this is the look I want to go for. Um, that's just my header text for my outro. So I'm going to adjust the text here. So I don't want it to show immediately. I want the white to be showing first for a little bit, then the text moving in. And then I want it to stay until the end of the clip. So now we're going to go ahead and animate our text here. So how we do that is you have your text selected and you go to this section here called animate and we're going to add an in animation here. So um, the one that I'm going to be going for is bounce in, but you can go through all of these and see which one you want. So this is the one I'm going to be using. I'm just going to make it bit slower so here you can adjust the speed to which your text bounces in i'm gonna make mine like that so 1.5 seconds about and i'm not gonna set an out animation i'm just gonna have an in animation for my outro here so this is what it looks like when i click play on my clip and it moves in okay so the text is moving in right here so at this point i want to add in my social media icons now you don't have to add this you can literally just use this as an outro and then you're good to go but i like to add my instagram handle at the end so i'm just going to go ahead and add in an instagram logo that i downloaded but you can use whichever one you want so i'm just going to go to the sticker section so click on stickers and they have a bunch you can choose from here, but you're just going to go to photos and then add in your social media icon. You can add Twitter as well. I just don't use Twitter really. So I'm going to go with Instagram, add that, 
and I'm gonna just position that to where I want it to be on my screen. Okay, so that's pretty much what I want it to look like. I'm gonna also drag this till the end so it's gonna stay that entire duration of the clip. Okay, so now we're gonna animate our Instagram logo here as well. So I'm just gonna go to the animation section here and for this, I'm just also gonna have a bounce in just like that. I think I'm just gonna move it a bit like right there. Um, you can do the same for Twitter. So if I were to add in a Twitter, Twitter logo here, I would just re make sure it's the same size as the Instagram logo, put it maybe next to each other and just give it the exact same animation with the exact same duration and make sure they're um, showing at the same time. So this is what it will look like then. So it just looks like it's one animation, but you can add in as many social media handles as you want. I'm just gonna put Instagram, but that's just an example that I wanna show you guys. So if you have more than one, you can make it look like it's just one animation. So now we have our text, we have our Instagram handle here. Now we're just gonna add the text for our handle. So I'm just gonna click on add text here and put in my Instagram handle. And then just also gonna adjust the font and everything. I'm gonna go with a font that they have here, which is called Postmodern. It's just a very plain font and I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna make it like that and i'm also going to animate this by adding in a um bounce in effect and now i'm just gonna position my text or time my text so it appears at the same time as the instagram logo and make it the same duration as my entire clip so let's play that back and see what it looks like so clicking play we have our text coming in and then our instagram and text and that's pretty much it it's very plain like i said this is a very easy outro you can have, make it more elaborate if you want again i have more tutorials in that playlist if you want more info or like more ideas for outros but this is just a very plain outro i mine is very similar to this so yeah that's pretty much how you do it so now i'm just gonna export this video here and then i'm gonna add in my music in imovie so you just export by clicking on this export button you can also adjust the quality by clicking up here and then and just adjusting it to maybe like 2k or 4k whatever um, and then yeah just click on the export button and it will start exporting your video so now i'm gonna go into imovie here create a new movie and i'm gonna import that video that we just created in CapCut. so i added in some music in imovie so this is just the music that i use for my videos i use music from epidemic sound which is a subscription-based place where you can get all your music and sound effects um so that's the music that i'm gonna be using but you can use any music that you want there are so many places that you can get music for your youtube videos that are non-copyrighted you can even use imovie's library they have also a lot of audios that you can choose from. They've really expanded on that a lot. As you can see, they have so many that you can choose from. So you can even go through here and also find a good music for your outro that you will know is non-copyrighted. So that's pretty, basically it. You can even add in some more sound effects. The reason I'm doing this in iMovie is just because I prefer iMovie to do this type of thing. You can even add in your music in CapCut. I just prefer iMovie for this part of the, my videos and editing. So that's the only reason why I'm using iMovie for this. A big tip I can give you guys also when editing your outro for your music at the end i do recommend adding a fade so that they kind of know it's coming to an end if your music doesn't fade automatically so how you do that is you just tap on your music i prefer making my music um foreground because if it's background it's got a very low volume so putting it as foreground is just my first tip and then to fade your music you just go to the volume section here and then you click on fade and you'll see you get these little triangle handles and you can just adjust that so it will fade out a bit at the end so that it kind of makes the music gradually go all lower and lower the volume. So yeah, that's my biggest tip. So yeah, here is the results. <laughs> Like I said, you can make this longer, shorter, however you want your outro to be. This is just the basics of how to add the text and the animation and everything. And you can make it even more extravagant if you want. This is just my version and mostly like how my outro looks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you might have for me regarding this. Again, remember I have a playlist link where you can see all of my previous outro and intro related tutorials. That's also in the description box below and in the eye up top. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other outro and intro playlists. And click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye!